Hey everybody, what's up? Hearthstone Academy here, and we are going to be going over Quest Warrior today. So Quest Warrior is a really, really fun deck. Um, so I have my deck list up here. Um, so the basic idea behind this deck is to, as the name implies, complete uh, the Warrior's Quest, Fire Plume's Heart. So this is a quest um, that involves playing seven taunt minions, and then at the end you get this weapon, uh, Sulfurus. And Sulfurus has a battle cry, um, that says to change your hero power, uh, to deal eight damage to a random enemy. Um, so your hero power basically becomes, a like a Ragnaros proc. And, um, like, that's cool if it kills a minion, but a lot of times what we want to use it for is for 8 damage to face, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, and that's really going to be our win condition. Um, but for that to work, because it deals it to a random enemy, we have to keep the enemy's board clear. So this deck is full of lots of tools to keep the enemy's board clear, because we want their board clear early on in the game. And we also want their board cleared near the end of the game um, for the to get that 8 damage to the face. Um, so that's our main win condition. Um, we also have the um, Scourge Lord Garrosh here, the Death Knight, and he's not a win condition um, in the same way the uh, the uh, Blood Reaver Gul'dan is a win condition for Control Warlock or Cube Lock. Um, so that's worth keeping in mind. He's more of a tool to allow us to survive later on. That Shadow Morn weapon deals four damage. Uh, to a minion and the minions next to it, so that's great for keeping the board clear. Um, and Bladestorm is really great, um, again, to keep the board clear. We have a lot of Whirlwind effects in this deck. Um, we have two Whirlwinds, um, then we have two Warpaths, uh, then we have two Blood Razors, um, and then, of course, if you can get uh, to Scourge Lord Garage, then you have... Uh, blade storm and terror power and unlimited uh, every turn you can do a whirlwind for free so in total because blood razor gives us two whirlwind effects um on its battle cry and its death rattle we are really looking at eight different whirlwind effects um just between the two whirlwinds the two war paths and the two from each of the two blood razors and that's not even assuming that we're going to use war path more than once because war path does have echo uh and it's used it's a very strong board clear. Um, Acolyte of Pain into Warpath is a great combo. Uh, if you has a small board you want to clear, you can uh, basically turn Acolyte of Pain into a card that says draw three. Um, if you do that, which is great. Uh, Phantom Militia is another card I think is worth mentioning. Really brings the whole deck together. You want to ideally try to save it so you can put down at least two copies, if not three. Um, each copy that you put down does count towards your quest. So if it's turn 9 and you put down Phantom Militia, then you put down its Echo a couple times, uh, that will count as 3 minions towards the quest, so that's worth mentioning. Um, last piece of synergy that is worth, I think, really mentioning here is Cornered Sentry uh, and Dry Whisker Armor. So Cornered Sentry uh, works well with all of our Roland effects that we already have in the deck because we can uh, kill those three raptors uh, with that effect and then we're, we basically have a two cost two five ton which is obviously great um, but we also get a really nice benefit off of uh, dry whisker armor um, which for each enemy minion gains two armor uh, so basically you get six extra armor off of it um, and that armor is going to be really critical in surviving to the late game where this deck really really thrives so that's about it um last thing to note is that there is a version of this deck that is odd and uses baku to get that extra um to get that extra little bit of um of armor each time you armor up that deck is also very strong um it doesn't run any of these even cards obviously but um but it it runs double shield slam um double um shield block uh double brawl uh it has like a lot of the same tools to survive late you still get your phantom militia your stunhill defender 
Um, and that's a very good deck. Also, it does play slightly differently from this deck, so that is something that is certainly worth keeping in mind. Because without access to Cornered Sentry, Dwight Risker Armor combo, um, you lose. You also lose access to um, to Blood Razor, which is an absolutely amazing weapon uh, for for these sorts of control decks. Um, you so you, you really struggle because of that, but again that four armor hero power is is just incredible. That's it's a really amazing hero power. Um, so it's I'd put it about on par with this deck in terms of quality. Um, so really, which one you play is really just preference. Uh, and that's about it for me talking about the deck. Um, so now. Let's actually try a game. So, again, um, win conditions. Our win conditions are to complete the quest and then do just repeatedly use our hero power to do 8 damage to the enemy. So, pretty straightforward win condition. It's basically survive till then, then do that. Uh, the tricky part is deciding how aggressive we want to be because a lot of times you might um you might try to complete the quest really quickly um if you think it's going to be a short game if they're playing a mid-range deck maybe um other times you might have some more time so a lot of that is about reading the matchup and figuring out what you want to do uh so we obviously want to keep fire plumes heart uh dry whisker armor is is a little bit um, more of a question along with blood razor uh, so this is probably a spell hunter that seems to be most of the hunters around this rank right now um so against spell hunter we it's gonna be good to have blood razor um because that basically does three damage on its first swing um dry whisker armor isn't that great against um in spell hunter um because until they get a big spell stun turn off there's really not a whole lot on the board. Now that's unfortunate. But let's go with it. Okay. Acolyte of Pain's not bad here. We have a turn 3 play into a turn 4 play. Assuming that they don't have anything on the board with 3 attack that sticks. Going into our turn 3. And if they do, then we have our other turn 3 play. So this is... Um, this is actually looking pretty good right now. I feel good about this. So, let's see. So this is either probably explosive, freezing, or rat trap, right? Or wandering monster. Either way, I think it's going to be okay to play Acolyte here. Cool, so we know it's not Snipe. Um... And then, let's see what he does here. Animal Companion. Oh, uh, that's the one we didn't want. So, it's probably actually okay if here we just equip this and attack face to try to feel out for an explosive trap. So it's not explosive. Okay. Uh, so at this point, I think it's pretty safe to say that that trap is freezing. Um, now, there's this other trap on the board. Again, we are not too sure what we are looking at here. Um, should we just go face again and hope it's explosive again? Pro I mean, this time it's more likely to be explosive because now we know for sure it's not freezing. So could be rat trap it could be wandering monster let's let's save that last swing and uh, next turn we can do acolyte into um, a blood razor swing wow okay that's gonna be tough um, and we could kill three of them pretty easily with Double slam. So this would set off Rat Trap if we did Cornered Sentry into Double Slam and then a swing. 
but I mean, Rat Trap's gonna go off if we do a triple Phantom Militia turn anyway. Let's do this now. This that's just too much armor to give up. Yeah. All right. Oh, and the board's full. That I did not even plan that. I'm. If I were, if I were better at acting, I could have pretended that I planned for the board to be full so Rat Trap wouldn't go off. Probably should have considered that. Did not. But either way, that worked out splendidly. So, yeah, so you might have noticed we're in no rush to complete the quest. That's pretty common here. You don't need that win condition early. Um, really, the main thing is to survive until the late game. So, let's see, what do you want to do here? Um, what do we want to do? We could... We could do... Alright. Um, nah, we... We want to do... Let's do this. And then, do we want to attack here? But then, Blood Razor doesn't really give us a whole lot. Let's be boring. Uh, uh, Stonehill, it's gonna be such an easy trade for him. Uh, th that was not played well, but I mean, I don't think that, that was an awful turn. He has 11 damage on the board, but we have 20 armor right now. We're at no risk of getting killed. So right now we really do have to kill um, this, though. This uh, Leoc is going to cause us lots of trouble. We do have Blood Razor and Execute, which could get the kill. So that's six mana, so that would leave us with two more. Not enough for Acolyte, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and do this and hope it's another freezing. It's not. That's sad, but expected. So yeah, let's go ahead and equip this and then we can go for the execute there. And all of a sudden, this looks a little bit more manageable than it once did. So both spellstones have already been used. Um, so that's good. That's a bullet dodge, because that's a really strong card. Um, and a lot of secrets have already come down also. So this Eelhorn Bow won't be getting um, too many charges, hopefully. So this is an interesting position. Um, few okay options. We could do triple phantom militia. We could do an acolyte into double phantom militia. Our quest is only at one right now, so I might want to get all three phantom militias out. Yeah, let's try that. So there we could have also played Warpath twice to clear the board. That would have left us with 5 mana. Um, then we could have done Stonehill Defender, probably. It's not necessarily a bad move. Um, but I feel like this one leaves us in a little bit of a stronger position. So we have yet to see a Wandering Monster. So whatever trap is... At least one of these two traps is bound to be a Wandering Monster. Oozes will be good to keep around. So I mean, we could complete the quest this turn if we just go triple um, Phantom Militia again. 
and that's really not a bad idea. And his hand's pretty empty, unless he has uh, Rock Delar, um, which is that 7 mana legendary weapon that refills your hand. Um, I think we're in okay shape. Running double Rat Trap, it's interesting. I did not know that that was something people did. But here we are, nonetheless. There's Rock Delar. That's what we were afraid of. Uh, at least we have Ooze so we can kill it. I don't think um, Hunters really carry anything more powerful than a 4 2 weapon. Probably about to use it now in one of our uh, Phantom Militias. Hmm. Also, running Wing Blast. That's, that's interesting. Not a lot of. Uh, the spell hunter list I've seen run wing blast, but we are in pretty tough situation right now. Um, so we could, I think we're gonna have to do sulfurous and and we're gonna act pretty much have to hope here that this hits the rat to stay alive. It did not. That's. Not perfect, but also not the worst thing in the world. We can still do this. And... Um, this is... I guess cornered sentry, because we can get... We can basically clear everything with Warpath. And right now, Tempo is going to be the name of the game for us, keeping us alive. We don't want any really expensive minions. Oof. Not looking good. Hopefully he does not have kill command. Alright. Looks like we are barely surviving this turn. If he had done tracking before, he probably would have drawn a kill command. I mean, gotta go for this first, right? This is this is not not an ideal game. Nothing we can really do to kill the, the giant rat or to gain armor right now. We, can, we could do Acolyte into Warpath. And into Warpath again. That that doesn't look good. And I think our best chance at this point really is to just play Serenite Chain Gang. And here he has a beast on the board. It's not like putting a few more raptors would do too much damage. I don't. This is rough. I don't want to attack face with my weapon here. In case if it's explosive, I'm gonna. Because then he can just hero power to kill me next turn. Alright. Is that. Yeah, that's gonna be the game. Oh, not even close. Yeah. It has plenty of damage to kill me. Alright. That was a game. Not not the ending we hoped for, but nonetheless, it was a game. We're going to do one more, and hopefully this one ends in a victory. So if we look back at that loss and sort of think about what happened there... Um, we got a lot of armor at first, and we got the quest done, but really, it just came down to the fact that we didn't have a way to handle that giant rat at the end. Right, that did most of the damage. Um, uh, and, yeah, I mean, that's really all it is. We were never able to establish that strong of a board. Uh, we were kind of hanging in there, but nothing too crazy. So, so right now, Rogue, the big Rogue, um, seeing a lot of play now is Miracle Rogue. Um, this deck isn't awful against Miracle Rogue because it can gain a lot of armor 
Um, I think we want to let's let's keep all of these actually. Um, even though Rogue tends to not have that many minions on turn two, um, maybe we can still get something good off of Dry Whisker. Nah, nothing good there. Let's armor up and pass. This, I don't think that playing Dry Whisker armor uh, um, on to an empty board is almost ever a good move. It gets so much utility later on in the game. That armor is really important, uh, especially when we have cards like Shield Slam that really take advantage of it. This deck does only run one Shield Slam, which is very interesting. Um, I basically copied the Tempo Storm Meta Snapshot uh, version of this deck. Only difference is I replaced uh, Gluttonous Ooze with an Acidic Swamp Ooze, uh, but that's just personal preference, really. So, we have a few options. Uh, Booty Bay Bodyguard is out. So we are basically looking at uh, Gem Studded Golem and Tar Lord. I think normally I would choose um, Tar, or I would choose yeah Tar Lord, but uh, Gem Studded Golem here has a lot of uh, synergy with Dry Whisker armor, and we're gonna make it a priority to get armor because we also have that Shield Slam. So I think in this specific case, um, it's the better minion. We also don't want to let this game drag on forever. Um, because eventually this rogue will get the better of us. If we just keep trying to make it go forever. So let's go ahead and do this. We could also armor up and then shield slam. Or we could slam and then shield slam. I don't want to slam yet. Slam is too much synergy with execute. He would have just had too many favorable trades if we put down Sarah Knight Chain Gang. Then he would have become a 5-5 five, five, um, when he attacks. Then he would have been left with 3 health. We would have had to put our whole board into him. Um, and that's the best case scenario if he doesn't clear. This way we're guaranteed to at least be left with the Stone Hill Defender. So, how far are we? We're at number two right now, so we have five more. So, we ideally are going to hope he draws all those four fours a little bit later on in the game. Put him there. Um, because then we could, for 8 mana, use Warpath to basically deal 4 damage to all minions. Or we can draw him now. That, that's also cool. I got the best deals wow, putting on an Auctioneer already? And he still has coin. Does he have a prep? Backstab? Yeah, backstab. Always kind of scary when a rogue puts down auctioneer, and then you know that they're just about to try to ruin your life. How many cards he's drawn this turn? He's drawn like five or six cards already. This is crazy. I haven't even played the coin yet. I think we have to do this. We can't let this survive. Yeah. 
and we're also setting up for next turn. Um, we can do a cornered sentry into dry whisker armor um, into blood razor, which um, would be a really great combo. Um, unfortunately, we can only do we do three damage basically with blood razor on our first swing, so it's not going to be super efficient in terms of removal, but definitely not the worst we could do. I think it's still the right play here. And then that's going to give us enough armor to survive for a while. So, yeah, let's go ahead and remove. I, ha I get the feeling we're going to end up having to use Execute here anyway on our on our good friend hench clan thug it might be better to save execute uh for um for van cleef but we can we can try on him like we, we just really don't have a better way to handle it right now other than execute we can hope we draw into something we also have shield block to help us draw Or we also have our weapon, actually. Don't know why I didn't consider that earlier. Uh, and Warpath. Okay, so we have options. I think this is going to be the obvious move, right? And after we do this, we could put down three Phantom Militias. Sounds good to me. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, does that sound good to you? That's good. So, so an interesting um, decision that you also have to make when you play this deck is when to actually play Sulfuras. Um, deal eight damage is is a much better hero power um, than gain two armor in general. Um, but sometimes you really want the ability to get more armor. Uh, this is a matchup where armor is very important, and you really have to balance out um, how important it is to quickly finish off the enemy versus how important that armor is for you. So, um, we do have a few cards that can give us more armor though. Let's start, let's see what are our options. I like the idea of doing a shield block to activate a gem sort of golem attack. Like that just seems, I don't know, that seems like a thing that would be good, right? Yeah, we're gonna have to finish this game sooner rather than later. Oh, that was a misplay. No, it wasn't. Yeah, that was a misplay. I should have hero powered first. Well, what are you gonna do? So, hopefully, we can finish this out next turn. This is not looking great, though. I'm probably going to start drawing to the ambushes, yeah. So, there's one of them. There's one more in the deck. Seven cards. Surprise he hasn't gotten to his other, um, whatever it's, what it's called, the uh, uh, Foul Dory Stalker. So we we have lethal. Yeah, we're good. We got this. We have warpath, and warpath is a beautiful thing. Windows is trying to control my life. Okay, yeah. So we can. So I said that a little too soon before when I said we had lethal, um, because. That 4-4 could have drawn into an ambush. I guess we could have slowed it with our weapon. Well played. 
and there we go for our last eight. There we go. So that's what this deck looks like when it does work. Is um, it gets a lot of burst damage without needing cards to do it due to that hero power. Got to get that hero power up, and then you can get that burst damage going. Um, but that is it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Quest War is a fun deck. I recommend trying it out. Uh, and I will see you all next time.